Hey everyone, this is Vikram and we're back with the Great Wheel Road from Sunburn Games. It's going to be out on Thursday, July 28th, if you were seeing this video before then. And available on Steam and all that stuff. But last time we did the first year of our settlement, we are the Danes, and this is Ulfersted. And, uh, what's my guy's name? Loki? Lok Loki? Something like that. Well, anyway... I don't know that these numbers are working properly because it seems like we should not be getting like a ridiculous amount of uh, food in the winter, but not in the summer. So yeah, I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and allocate our focus for this coming year. And I think this time we will invest in crafts. Try to get our craftsmen to go up. I think that makes some sense. Uh, kind of lost a lot with the husbandry last year, so we'll try to invest there. Uh, continue investing in farming. And... Let's do traditions, I think. Maybe a slight boost, uh, not permanent, but that will be okay. Enter! That's the same quote. Winter storm has been lying over the islands for days. Rain from the nerd gear has been falling continuously. Neither men nor livestock enjoy being drenched, miserable and cold. Let the men wrestle in the Leek Fang style. Order the thralls to bring out the ale. Start the contest by reciting a heroic poem, but decide to add drinking as well. That seems to be the best way. Have a drink of a horn of ale and then recite two lines of poem. 48 lines later, the last drinker falls face first onto a table. Everyone agrees that it was a great feast. Yes, that's what I thought. Mead and epic poems in the mead hall. All right, we've increased craftsmen. Good. Savings from last year. We're still getting a ridiculous amount of food here. I don't, I don't quite get that. I think, I think the numbers must be a little borked. Oh yeah, we got this wine. It said we drank it all, but here it is. Uh, do you have anything different? Oh yeah, we should probably, probably equip this stuff. Who has the bad sword, the bad spear? You. There you go, buddy. Not any better. And I'll give you the mace. We do got this stuff. But there's no difference. You've got nothing else. This appears to be better. Okay, well, that's as good as we can do. Let's see what we ought to do now. Going south. All right, we're taking Kato for sure. Big bear again. The grumpy. And these guys, very similar. I guess we'll take you. You have some range. Uh, I don't know that we still need that much more food. Let's take like 15. Take all these pelts to sell.
And, you know, I think that's going to be it. Uh, we'll leave the rest. See if we can't uh, increase mead production and stuff by having that. And the salt really isn't worth worth doing. Take a bit of supplies. Well, I don't know. Five. Five will do. You know, we may as well. Just in case. There's room in the ship, so... Yeah, I wish it would give me some estimate of what we're going to need. Let's go. Sail past a bay and nearly miss a trading ship, which is anchored to one side. It lights. Heavy in the water. I'm not in the mood for a fight. Maybe we can barter for some Frankish wine. Just imagine what treasures they must carry. Why should we let them keep it all to themselves? They're rich, but they also know how to fight. Uh... Your plans unravel quite quickly as you realize that the ship itself is a trap and you have sprung it. Oh no. Alright, these these are your battle cards. With them, you can add heroes to the battle or use war cries to power them up. Some can only be played when their turn restriction value is lower or equal to the current term number. You can hold three cards at once. Replace a card selected and press shuffle. Randomly drawn again. Used ones cannot. To add a hero to the battle, select it and choose one of the starting positions to place the hero. Use a war cry, select it and choose which hero you want to use on. Okay. In battle, each side is a leader that can be identified by an ornamented base. The leader falls, the battle ends. Toggle the visibility of the character info by pressing the info button. Top right corner of the screen. During your turn, use or shuffle your cards. Move each hero once. Attack or defend. Skip your turn. Ends the action phase for that hero. Weapons have different ranges. Alright, some weapons have two attack types. Each attack type is a different hit chance. Okay. Let's just see how this goes. Okay. So... Am I... Can I play this now? Can't be played until turn seven, can't be played until turn six. It is my turn now. Round two. I think I'm going to shuffle those, see if I can get more characters out here. Can't get him, can you? No. Okay, well that's not too bad. And you can't get him, right? 
So defend. And we're gonna end turn. Oh no. Not dead, is he? Get in there, huh? Alright, two HP left. That is not good. You only have four. Woo! He's got 14. Yikes. These guys are really freaking tough. Flash or slash. Oh, uh, so I guess I reduced his defense. You have a range of two. I. You can hit. Good. Minus three HP. Enough of that, see if we can get more cards. Uh, I think Bear is gone. You lose. Whoa. That did not go very well at all. Well, I s <laughs> Our ship is kind of beaten up too. You have certainly improved as a crew. Most of you can hold a rowing rhythm, despite the pain in your arms and the backs. Adel has been working you hard, practicing the shield wall every night. Everyone is relieved once Arxum comes in sight. I can imagine so. I'm in big trouble. After meeting the local chieftain, a young man approaches you. He has inherited a small farm of the Danish thrall. Selling the farm as it only provides meager returns, he's planning to hand over the thrall to the local Foden priest. When you arrive, he offers to sell the Dane to you. If he truly is a Dane, then we should buy him. Who are we to withhold a sacrifice from Odin, even if they call him Voden here? Either we'll buy him, or they will hang him from a Voden oak. We pay five silver. Like he was a Jarl's son at the beginning, you have to pay more than you were planning to. You send the former thrall back to Ulfersted with a message for the elders to take him in. Okie dokie, we got one more person here. Could go hunting, but we've got plenty of food. Let's let's do some trading. Sell all this stuff. That's quite nice. Confirm. Alright, my my ruler here is uh He needs to rest for sure. Head over here to see what they got. Ceremonial bronze axe. An improvement for me. Angon. What is that? Growing spear, I guess. Buy that axe for myself. 
Tavern, I'll send you in. And the ship looks broken, but I don't think it is. Yeah, it's probably not, uh, not needed. All right. I'm going to need more rest. And why, why don't you feast some more? Why not? Uh, yeah, just, just rest, everybody. That's probably going to be okay. Let's get going. It looks like my ship's damaged, but I guess it's not. Quick glance at the horizon shows a sleek long ship with many oars approaching rapidly from aft. We can take them. Odin loves ruses. Let's teach them a lesson. If they have a bigger crew. We should try to escape. Good. Not feeling particularly confident in our abilities here. Famous for its dried fish. We can snap in. this amber light javelin hunting bow hunting knife oh yeah can we change this for you yeah yep we may as well take a rest And we are off. Like uh, the breeze starts to turn into a major gale, the thunderer is angry. Let's look for a harbor. Cover cloth ripped and you were soaked. Well, I guess it didn't do anything for me. Saxon dogs bark and bite. This must be our destination. I still don't think we've consumed really any food. I guess we have. This is the longest journey most of you have undertaken in their lives. You have left the Danish Saxon borderland behind you. From now onward, you will only find Saxon settlements along the coast. I'm still a long way to the south. When excited and nervous at the same time.
As you start to get comfortable with some ale and freshly baked bread, the village headman approaches you. He enters himself as Regnard. Regnard. Ask for your help to kill some outlaws who are camping nearby in the forest. Clearly uncomfortable asking some Danes for help, but he seems to be in dire need. A bit of axe silver. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Send forth Vera. Shuffle that puppy. Till. Okie doke. Nice work. Well, let's just uh, see what we can do here. We end this quickly. Whoa, he exploded. Nice work, everybody. Balanced war axe. Hang on. Uh, I guess we can sleep, huh? Undy dogs. What does that do for me? I guess I have to find out. We're gonna take a dog. We're gonna party all night long. Heard a rich older farmer is desperately looking for a young wife. Very high bride price. Yiddish mercenary on his way to Miklagard. Whale hunting spot in the north. Hmm. Well, we're going. Two of the crew have started a fight. Okay. You weren't able to find a proper place to rest. You'll be forced to sleep on this ship. 
Um, we stayed at that town overnight. I don't understand. There's a wood scratching noise coming from the cargo. A rat infestation on the ship. Oh no. Slower crew members ate a piece of poison bread and a stick. Speed of the ebb flow has caught off guard and ship runs aground in the mud flats. Clean part of the hull. Okay. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't seem to be a problem. And it must be recent. What should the crew do? Search the boat. Don't bother. They will. They belong to Ron. Now we should search survivors. Well, we probably don't want to do that. Well, you didn't want to run aground, did you? We can do it. Hopefully, got ourselves into a situation here. That's three HP. He's got eight. All right, Barra. Going what's for? Should be able to kill this guy. No! Detail. Pierced foot.
Two down. Do we have another person? Sure. Round five, plus five defense. Hold up, hold up. Oh, you can hit him from there. I'll go ahead and give you that. Can you hit him from there? Can. Fifteen HP, yeah. Ooh, buddy. Oops, ran out of time, I guess. Done. Good. All right. Salt plus one plus two defense. Good job. How many has he got? I got it. Good. Bear is going to be in bad shape. Yeah, let's recover here. Well, I think we've gone on too long, but uh,
Well, thanks so much. Uh, well, we're out of time for this episode, but hope you've enjoyed so far. Uh, we'll see if we can get some more done before there are patches and such, because we're pretty close now to the early access release. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time, if not in this series, then another. Thanks.